What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Stan here, and welcome back to a brand new Pixelmon video here on Pokey Islands. And today we are going to capture a brand new mythical Pokemon for our living Pokédex. We are going to capture the Guardian of the Forest. We are going to catch pretty much the the elite Pokemon when it comes to Grass types and of course Psychic types because it is a dual type. I am talking about Celebi. We are going to capture it. It is the Guardian of Elix Forest from the Johto region. So we're going to capture that here today. If you guys are excited for today's episode, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications so you guys never miss a video. And let's get started with today's uh, legendary adventures. All right, so you guys already know the goal is, of course, to spawn in Celebi in today's episode. To get to spawn in Celebi, we're going to have to do a little bit of grinding work. It's not going to take us too long. I promise you guys that for sure. Uh, but let's start off with the recipe to pretty much craft the item that we need. So oddly enough, you're going to need a Minecraft clock from like vanilla Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and grab that first. We need four of them, though. Uh, that part should be rather easy. You shouldn't just need some gold and some redstone in the middle. Boom. Minecraft clocks. So the next thing that we're going to need is actually going to be an orb. We're going to need some uh, golden hourglasses. And then uh, we need those Minecraft clocks that we just made. And now we have a time glass. Perfect. So with this time cla a glass, if you like take a look at it and you shift on it, it's an item that can be used to spawn Celebi after spending time in a flower forest. So if I'm not mistaken, the way that this works out is you have to kill 200 grass or 200 psychic type Pokemon in a flower forest biome. And since Biomes of Plenty has a ton, and I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not exaggerating, there is a ton of biomes in this uh, mod pack that we're gonna have to find the flower forest. However, uh, past Louie, past stands, kind of fixed that for us a long time ago. So all we have to do is just TP over. And we're chilling at a flower forest. So now we just have to wait for Pokemon to spawn in and KO all the Pokemon that we need. This took me longer than I expected, um, but we finally completed it. It was actually 100 kills as opposed to 200. And what's cool is they also included, of course, that fairy typing, so it made it a little bit easier for us to get what we needed. Uh, but we have uh, the time glass completely filled up. This item can be used to spawn Celebi after spending time in the flower forest, which I think I've spent plenty of time in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and right click and it should pop us with a Celebi. Let's go. I'm, I actually love this. Look at the particles. Oh, the particles are on you. Oh, that's sick. And then straight into a battle with Celebi. Okay, cool. And then we're going to go ahead and master ball this and add this to our living decks. I'm actually happy with this. Come on. Look, look at my character because my character was stuck looking up. Oh, and then we get, of course, the achievements and all that good stuff. We get $10,000 uh, for catching uh, Celebi too, which is pretty cool. So Guardian of the Elix Forest. Nice. I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. Let's take a look at the, the Celebi for sure. Uh, so it is a lax nature. Uh, minus Spadef and then up defense. Ooh. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I'll take it though. I will gladly take it. What's this? Somebody left me a gift? Okay, let's take a look at it. So let's go ahead and right click this to open it up. And... Ooh, we have wave mail and then we have a VIP resort ticket. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at this. Uh, the wave mail. Let's go ahead and read that. Inside this box is a VIP ticket to a luxurious, 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 luxurious. There you go. That's how you say that. Oh my God, I can't speak today. Uh, hot spring resort for you, Sir Stan. You shall receive a second letter for when it is finished. You are the first of many who shall compete for the title of Hot Spring King. We hope to see you when the resort is completed and good luck in the tournament for the title. And winner will get the king suit with a friend you may bring a plus one. And this is from the Hot Spring Chairman, Lightning Ray, who also, by the way, might be doing some aesthetic building in my area, which I would gladly take. Uh, but of course, they have to. Fin uh, Lightning Ray has to finish up the the uh, resort spring, which is gonna be pretty cool. Who's my plus one, you might ask? It's more likely gonna be Big Bird Killer, who is, I don't know if he's here at his base at the moment. Um, I don't know if he is, but he's breeding Ralts and he's breeding throws. But I think he's breeding throws so that you can, uh, I think that's the pea hunt thing at the moment. And he's got ditto breeding going on over there. So yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Big Bird, wherever he's at, he might be my plus one when the time comes for this, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we have, of course, the uh, the resort, uh, the VIP resort ticket for Stair Stand. We're actually gonna put that in my e chest, uh, just so that I have that, so I don't forget it. I'll put my I'll put the letter. So it's that time of the week again where we can open up some crates. We have some boat crate keys, some level crate keys, Pokey doll crate key, 
hybrid crate key and of course the seasonal crate key uh the way that this is gonna work i don't know how i played out last time but i opened everything on camera but i only kept in all the good stuff so if i get anything like some shiny pokemon or some legendaries or maybe just something really good in general i'm gonna keep it in the video but uh for now i'm just gonna just go for it so 11 vote crate keys first one what are we ending up with please I, I'll, out of the vote crate keys i would love tokens that's all i would really want all right second to last crate key it's the seasonal crate key uh i don't know if i i, I would i mean shinies are cool and all it looks like i'm gonna get a shiny honestly uh oh i got a shade oh that's even worse that's even worse dude i've gotten a million shit oh i don't i i yeah and the final crate key is gonna be the hyper crate key uh here please please redeem something for me because i got things that i really didn't want Ooh, random legendaries i got one random shiny legendary pokemon a Terrakion! I, I, eh, this one's okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's okay. I, I think I'm okay with that. I, I think it's, uh, it's interesting. Um, and it's definitely new. And I guess it's not a spawnable Pokemon, so that's good with me. And it goes to my, uh, my shiny decks or my shiny index because i haven't actually started to fill things in just yet but we're, 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 we're kind of putting a dent into it which is pretty cool so when doing my dailies i don't really come to ominous woods that often i have came here for one uh one quest which is like at the very bottom but i think there's two other quests for me to do so the first one that i want to talk to is this person ethan what up ethan uh, there's an annoying yelling, uh, there's an annoying man yelling at us for no reason. His ego is making him go mad. He believes he's the strongest trainer in the world. I don't know what will happen if he ever loses, but can you go beat him? I'm curious. So with this qu particular quest, I'm actually going to hold off on it for the next time that I become another character so that that person can take care of it. I'm looking at you, Guzma. I'm looking at you. Okay, so the next one is going to be the witch. So hello, trainer. I need your help. I need materials for my potions. Help an old lady out. Need some ingredients for this special stew. Spider eye, rotten flesh, glowstone, and redstone too. Okay. I actually feel like I can get a lot of this stuff at spawn. Wait, can I buy this stuff? I actually think I can buy this stuff. I think I can go to uh, the war, the marts, the Pokemarts, and I think they might have them in mob drops. Um, let's see what the, the thing is. So here, mob drops. So we have the spider eye, the rotten flesh, uh, the glowstone, and then the redstone I have myself. So how much does she need of each? Uh, quest log, hocus pocus. So one glowstone, one redstone, one spider eye, one rotten flesh. Perfect. So I have the redstone at my base. Everything else I can buy right here. Easy. So uh, purchase spider eye, rotten flesh, and redstone. Actually, can I just, will I have to go home? Oh, I can buy redstone here. I don't even have to go home. I can just go back. Where is the, the witch at? The witch is over here. Okay. Am I going to have to battle the witch afterwards? Imagine something like that. Okay, witch. What you got for me? Nice! You've impressed me. My trial's been passed. Now leave my lair. And then the old lady laughs. Okay. And they gave me some healing options too, which is pretty cool. Uh, and a vote crakey. So we get to open up another crakey. I might just do that one off screen. Uh, but yeah, still. Uh, I, I'm glad to, to take some of these things out of the way. Alright, so this is like my last chance to uh, get anything out of these crates during the videos themselves. Uh, I do have a Pokey Hunt crate key. With about less than an hour left before the new one kicks in, I was actually fortunate enough to grab uh the throw and kind of you know may, may, I, I made my thing happen so let's go to the poke hub crate key we're gonna left click just so we see what we can win uh token pouches 100 percent what i want uh random legendaries random shiny legendaries and maybe other crate keys might be what i want but if i do get a random uh, scroll key i hope i hope it's something really good but i don't want any of the small tier items uh because i i mean master balls generate me money i will take this i will take it so right now we're in the middle of playing a a little bit of a color drop and of course not having the best luck and and you know what i, I can't blame sneaky today but i can play blame kd but what's cool is uh, also on the server we've kind of just started playing around and we started playing tag we put it on a uh, piece of paper and then we just drop it on people and that's how you can get them the only thing is there's no tag backs of course I just don't know who I was tagged by today, so uh, I'm just going to try to get somebody soon. And this is like the perfect time uh, to do so because we all kind of get together anyway, so somebody's going to come in. <laughs> I don't know if Diablo's noticed it, but I kind of dropped the, the tag you're it to Diablo. 
<laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. I don't know if you guys see it. <laughs> Sorry, Diablo. You're in. All right, so today's giveaway is going to be a little bit different. Uh, well, actually, I say a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. All you guys have to do, of course, is to click the like button. Of course, be subscribed to the channel and comment down hashtag Pokey Islands in the comment section below. That's basically how you guys enter. Tells me who's entering to win the giveaway, and I give you guys the giveaway gift. Yeah, I think I worded that correctly. Uh, but the goal, or not the goal, but the item that I'm going to be getting, or the Pokemon. Yeah, there you go. The thing that I'm going to be giving you guys today is going to be Rayquaza. It's going to be a shiny Rayquaza, and I think this is kind of perfect because uh, Rayquaza is kind of useful. Uh, not only is it useful competitive-wise, it's a really cool Pokemon. Obviously, it's probably banned in a lot of formats, but still a really cool Pokemon if you're just playing casually and you want to have probably one of the best Pokemon in the game, probably your best bet. The next thing is, of course, uh, you do need a Rayquaza that has Dragon Asset that you can, uh, can Mega Evolve to catch Kyogre and Groudon on the server during the spawn, you know, all that good stuff. So, if you don't have a Rayquaza already, this is probably a good idea or a good way to get one. So, good luck with entering today's giveaway. Of course, if you guys won giveaways in the past, don't worry, you guys continue winning giveaways. I want you guys to deplete all my resources when it comes to all the giveaway stuff so I can start opening up more crate keys and stuff like that. So, yeah, take all this stuff off of my hands, please. But that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, all I ask for you guys is to feed the algorithm gods and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below if you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you guys uh, thought of how to spawn Celebi. I think Celebi is a really unique one. Uh, I'm also really glad that it's not as grindy as the other ones, that's for sure. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Thank you guys so much. What the hell just happened there? Oh my god. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.